මට කසුන්න මුලින්ම මොන ගැහුනේ ඉස්කෝලේ යනකොට මට දවසක් හිතුණා එයත් එක්ක ටිකක් එලියට යන්න පස්සේ මට දැනගන්න ලැබුණා මං අම්මා කෙනෙක් වෙන්න යනවා කියලා මං දැන් අම්මා කෙනෙක් තාමත් මට වයස අවුරුදු 15යි මගේ බබාගේ වයස මාස 4යි මට තිබ්බ හැම දෙයක්ම නැති වුණා මගේ යාළුව හිනා වෙවි ඉස්කෝලේ යනවා ඒත් අද මට ඒවා බලන්න විතරයි ඉතු වෙලා තියෙන්නේ මම කොහෙත්ම සූදානම් නැහැ මේ දෙයට mother of two daughters and a grandmother i was aware of the risks that young girls face today because they don't have access to the proper knowledge on sexual reproductive health and their rights in the ywca we train young girls on various aspects on issues pertaining to life and at a youth camp which was held in 2012 we realized that there were 72 young girls who didn't have enough knowledge on their rights reproductive health violence against women and gender issues and combating violence against women and children we had the gatekeepers we had their parents consent and we went forward in different areas of sri lanka and now today this initiative has got, has a ripple out effect and we have these young girls who are confident who move out into the society train others and our leaders who give the message to various walks of life and to various people and we are thankful to the world wide wca for this initiative and we ask others to follow our footsteps that young women need to be trained they have to take leadership and we thank the intergenerational leadership that took place there were the older women our volunteers who were with us who supported us and gave us the encouragement to go forward As the youth coordinator of the YWCA I was involved in this project educate young women and girls about sexual reproductive health and rights I worked with Sara Natali who is the VP of the UNFPA who was the project coordinator in the first phase We went to eight locations in the country including north and east to select young girls for this training. The training was a novel experience. For the first time these young girls got the opportunity to learn and also to discuss openly questions they had with regard to SRHR. We trained 72 young girls and they have approached many young women to educate and train them on SRHR. The aim of the workshop was aim of the training was to give uh, train young women to provide information accurate and comprehensive information to their peers and um, in terms of challenges it was difficult to open them up at the beginning they were shy and looking down but uh, however we managed to uh, uh, through drama and other sorts of arts we managed to get them talk and share their experiences and also we share our experiences too so we managed to kind of create an create a friendly environment for them to speak up and share their experiences and be comfortable that's how we overcome that challenge uh, young women from especially from Jaffna Mena and uh, Batiklo they were very interested to know and they were very enthusiastic and they were committed and the girls who are sitting at the back were trained by the girls that we trained so that sh- clearly shows that the program is running forward it's going forward and it was a success and the information has passed down to them and uh, i think ywca should continue to support these young women mama godak pitisara gamage jeevathana gan lame lingika ha prajana saukya kena matrikawa gattama mama me training ekata sahabhagi wuni hinda 
मटे ये गने गुड़ाक कारुनु देना गाने पुलवांगुना मानु दाना देवा ये वागे मापी विरुद्ध खाताकरण नती कारुनु गाना गरे वागे ने वे गमे आप इतने किस दिया के हम विरुद्ध खाताकरण नया आपी जब मापी आप इतने किया ला देन नितने इधर में ट्रेनिंग इर था बागी उन्हें हिंदा लिंगी का प्रजन साउंड के � Ipr train ke ne khati hai ta, mega na ka gan lo mai ma gorak denuat karla, ego lo vetan kar dar varin bear karna. I was present as a senior volunteer to assist in the training programs of the young women on sexual reproductive health rights. The young women had no opportunity to get accurate and comprehensive knowledge on this. They were subjected to abuse in traveling by bus, tuition classes and workplaces, Facebook and SMS. We trained them on this and we provided them with the YPR diary as a tool and we expect them to be catalyst to give this knowledge to others. Sexual and reproductive health rights of young people is a big taboo controversy subject. It's a big issue for the uh, billions of uh, young people all around the globe and millions of young people in Sri Lanka. In 2012, Young Women Christian Association approached us to give a technical support for this unique project. So we found that idea very cool and it's very youth friendly. So we supported Young Women Christian Association through Youth Peer Education Network called YPR, YPR Sri Lanka. So we supported uh, this project through giving, uh, giving them uh, training facilities and technical support, especially uh, do this diary. It's, it has a lot of content related to sexual and reproductive health, rights of young people, and especially we developed this diary with the participation of uh, young uh, young people all around Sri Lanka. So we have done this training in all, all two languages, local languages. So we consider this project as a very successful project and we, sub, uh, we appreciate uh, the support given by Young Women Christian Association for this project. And we are really happy from United Nations point of view as a, this is a very successful project. Mama kalau nampak usia dia le, sih sih awak pun. Usia dia le, kalau le tu le di thamam matam le lingi kah, perjalanan sauk ke sambandan dengan sesat hari hari sahaba agi na was tawa klubu ni. Atten usia dia le, kalau le tu le di me sambandan dengan denuma klubu agi ni mata hacky unatun. Lingi kah, perjalanan sauk ke sambandan dengan niwar di waha gamburin awu bodya klubu agi ni mata hacky ni me was sesat hari hari ha. अत्यन्त विश्वविद्यालय सिटी ने मांगे बहुत सहूदर सहूदर पीरिस गांबदा हाँ पीटिसर प्रदेश वाले फैमिली सिटी ने सा ओन में संबंध ऐसरां देनुमा क्लब आगे ने सिटी ने हैं वाईपीए ट्रेन के ने लेस में संबंध वो मामा देनुमा क्लब आगे ने सिटी ने सा ओन सामग्र निवर्ति वे विवर्त वा कताग्रण मट आवस्ता वा क women look happy and cheerful but during the time of war we heard many stories about abductions rape and killings of young women especially the young war widows and children the training given by the YWCA has given them great knowledge about the sexual and reproductive health rights violence against women and correct information about HIV and AIDS. As the YWCA of Jaffna, we gave them our fullest support for this much needed training. HRSR training in the Kalandu Kondra Thutukurasi. I will be able to get you to the next one. 
சமூகத்தில் நிறைய விழிப்புணர்வு கருத்தரங்குகளை நான் நடத்தி கொண்டு வருகிறேன் இதன் மூலமாக சக்தி டிவியில் ரெண்டு தடவைகள் நான் உரையாற்றுறதுக்குரிய வாய்ப்பும் எனக்கு கிடைத்தது இதனால் பல நபர்களுக்கு நான் அறிமுகமானவளாக இன்றைக்கு சமூகத்தில் நிறைய விதமான வேலைகளை செய்து கொண்டு வருகிறதால நான் மிக மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகிறேன் ஆனாலும் கூட எந்த குடும்பத்திலையும் சரி சமுதாயத்திலையும் சரி நான் நிறைய சவால்களை எதிர்கொண்டு வருகிறேன் ஏனென்னு சொன்னால் நான் கதைக்கிற கதைகள் வந்து இந்த சமூகத்தால் நிறைய பேருக்கு ஏற்றுக்கொள்ளலாம் இருக்குது இருந்தாலும் கூட நான் இதில் இருந்து தெளிவடைந்து இன்னும் நான் மிக மிக வேகமாக உத்வேகமாக வளர வேணும் என்று சொல்லி நிறைய வேலைகளை செய்து கொண்டு வருகிறேன் இந்த சா இந்த சந்தர்ப்பத்தை எனக்கு அமைத்து தந்த வைடபிள்யூசிஏக்கு நான் கடமைப்பட்டவளாக இருக்கிறேன் அவர்களுக்கு மிக மிக நன்றி கடமை உள்ளவளாக நான் இருக்கிறேன் இதையிட்டு நான் மிகவும் பெருமை அடைகின்றேன் As a small girl, I was told that I need to be like Mother Mary. Today, as a wife here, I see Mother Mary as a different character. A young woman who took up the challenge to become a mother at a very young age, who had the courage to face all the talk behind the back by others, went through so many difficulties to be a mother. ප්‍රජනන සෞඛ්‍ය කියන විෂය අතලත් වෙලා නැහැ පාසල් අල් තියෙන පොත් වල තියෙන ඒ කරුණු වුණත් අපි ඉගෙන ගන්න මදි ඒ විශ්කෝලෙදි උගන්වන්නෙත් නැහැ ඉතින් මේ ගැන සලකල බලන්න පුළුවන් බලධාරී ඉන්න මම කියන්නේ අපේ පාසල් වල විෂය මාලාවට මේ ප්‍රජනන සෞඛ්‍ය කියන විෂය අතලත් කරනවා නම් ගොඩක් හොඳයි කියලා When we did the YWCA training the first thing that struck me was how passionate the volunteers were I have to mention Mrs. Fernando and Dr. Esther especially because Dr. Esther actually traveled up with us to Jaffna uh, to train that wonderful set of young women there and their support their knowledge their commitment really shone out and really inspired those young people who were there so we were very very pleased to be involved in this project with YWCA and to conduct these trainings and one of the things that we found was we were working with a young group of girls who had faith a faith based organization a faith based approach to sexual and reproductive health and this didn't in any way undermine the information that they were willing to absorb and that was something that was surprising in a sense but also very very inspiring because that meant that it was possible for young people of faith to listen to accurate and comprehensive information to absorb it and then to act on it and be confident enough to go ahead and train other young people now when we take a look at faith and when we take a look at sexual and reproductive health the context in sri lanka if you take teenage pregnancies a reality if you take abortion a reality Now the Na- National Child Protection Authority in Sri Lanka they try to bring about an amendment to our existing abortion law for example kids who have been raped most often during incest father or a brother and also fetal abnormality I mean these three were introduced as an amendment for kids under 18 and unfortunately Christian lobby and the Muslim lobby were instrumental in blocking this now what that shows is ywca has to be at the helm of beginning a discussion on things like sex and sexuality and hiv i mean we have made a start but we have to use these young girls to ensure that we don't forget about them and make sure that when they speak they are heard we need to advocate now we need to advocate to go into schools and ensure that our children are learning accurate and comprehensive information that they are learning to be gender sensitive 
Sri Lanka is not very gender sensitive. And the stories that these young girls brought of sexual harassment on transport, public transport, almost every one of them have experienced it. That is the kind of patriarchal system within which we live in Sri Lanka. And these young girls have the potential to begin a change. So, in terms of thinking about our future, in terms of going forward, we would really like to say to YWCA, be at the forefront. Start a discussion, engage with faith leaders, engage with leaders of other faiths and bring everyone together to have a frank and open discussion of the reality in Sri Lanka. You can't hide from it anymore. And in doing this, in doing this, you will be supporting those girls we train. Please, let's not forget about it. Sandi, why are you talking about the youth camp? Oh, I'm not talking about the youth camp. I'm 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 talking about the youth camp. ඒ ගැන මට ලොකු දැනුමක් තිබුණේ නැහැ පළවෙනිම ඉගෙන ගත්ත කිතුල්ගල කැම්ප් එකේදී මොකද්ද SRHR කියන්නේ HIV ලිංගික ප්‍රජනන සෞඛ්‍ය ගැන හොඳ දැනුමක් ලබා ගත්තේ මම එතනදී ලබා ගත්ත දැනුම මම මගේ යාළුව අතර බෙදා ගත්තා විශේෂයෙන් තරුණ ගෑණ ළමයි අතරේ ඒකට ලොකු පිටුවහලක් වුණා මගේ සැලොන් එක ඒ වගේම මම ඊට පස්සේ කතා කරේ මනමාලියන් වෙන්න ඉන්න අයට මොකද ඒ කට්ටියට ඒක ගොඩක් ලොකුට ප්‍රයෝජනවත් වුණා මම නොදනුවත්ම මම හිතනවා මම මෙන්ටරින් කරලා තිබුණා කියලා SRHR ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකේ මෙන්ටරින් පාට් එකක් තිබ්බා ඒක මට ලේසියෙන්ම කරන්න පුළුවන් වුණා මම නොදනුවත්ව හරි ඒ දේ කරලා තිබුණ නිසා විශේෂයෙන් මම මගේ අත්දැකීම් සහ මගේ දැනුම මගේ මහත්තයත් එක්ක මම බෙදා ගත්තා ඒක මට ලොකු පිටුවහලක් වුණා මගේ පවුල් ජීවිතේ සාර්ථක කරගන්න ඉතින් මම අම්මා කෙනෙක් වෙන්න යනවා ඉක්මනටම මට අවශ්‍යයි නිවරුද තොරතුරු මගෙ දරුවට ලබා දීලා සමාජයට යවන්න. We started a journey, a challenging one, taking into account our context, culture and everything. We would like to see a change in the society where young women and girls are aware of their rights, especially their sexual reproductive health and rights, so that they are empowered to take decisions in their lives. We would like to see a society where we don't hear teen or child pregnancies, where both girls and boys have the opportunity to go for higher goals, as all human beings are created equal in the image of God. We young women at the YWCA will not be doing it alone. As a movement of intergenerational leadership, we have a long way to go. and we will walk together hand in hand tied up in the same body mind and spirit to ensure that women especially young women are empowered to take decisions in their lives